guys, Icewire here, and welcome to The Sims 4, but with Mass Effect characters. Now, it's been a hot minute since I've done a Sims 4 video, and I apologize for that if you've been waiting for a long, long time for one. I kind of wasn't able to make one when I went overseas, and then when I got back, I just sort of got swept up in other things. So here I am now, making up for it. And the aim of the game today is to make three characters from Mass Effect. Now if you don't know what the heck Mass Effect is, and if not, what the heck my dude, it's a cool game. It is a space RPG developed by Bioware. And the first character that we're making is Caden Linko. In the first game, I chose Caden over Ashley. I'm not going to say what in what context, in case no one has played it and they don't want to get spoiled, but I chose Caden over Ashley because Ashley was a bitch. In my opinion, anyway. So our boy Caden here is first up and I gotta admit at first I had some trouble with his face. This sounds kind of mean but just in general his face it's like Caden has a very specific face you know like some features are sharp some are very soft and it's very hard to balance the two in a character creator but I gave it my best go and hopefully you guys think I did okay on it. Now if you guys enjoyed this video I might make a part two of this and I might turn some alien characters into what they would look like as humans. So Garrus, Tally, Fane. If that's something that you guys want to see be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below. That way I can tell if you were keen on that idea or not. But regardless I wanted to make another Sims 4 video and I wanted to tie in a game that I really enjoyed which is Mass Effect and yeah just go from there. Now Caden here he was my first uh, romantic interest in the Mass Effect franchise I don't know I guess I'm just a sucker for generic soldier number so-and-so <laughs> because that was the same in uh, Dragon Age Origins I did it with Alistair and then Inquisition with Cullen, so, you know, my taste is pretty obvious. Um, but yeah, I really like Caden as a character, and I remember in Mass Effect either 2 or 3, I think it was 3, when you see him again after, you know, being split up for a while, and he just doesn't trust you at all, and I was like, no, please don't, I love you. But in the end, you kind of win him over. Anyway, we're on to Caden's traits. So, with Caden, I wasn't too sure what to give him, so I kind of gave him like a. He wanted to know more about the world, and he's pretty athletic considering he is a soldier, and the fact that he um, uses bionics a lot. So, I figured that, you know, there's some aspect of like strength in using bionics in Mass Effect universe, because there was no traits that really like meshed well with that part of his uh, character, so I, I just kind of muddled around with like personality traits rather than his like physical traits with what he actually does in Mass Effect. So yeah, in the end he got athletic, perfectionist and ambitious. Now next up we have Liara. Now Liara was the hardest out of all three of the uh, Mass Effect characters in this video to do because I don't know if you've played The Sims before personally, but when it comes to making aliens, it's really freaking hard because they have such a specific facial shape, if you get what I mean. Like, all their features are really sharp and angular, whereas Liara's are actually quite soft, almost. So of Liara, you know, she's got like the big cheeks and the big eyes. And I tried to replicate that as best as I could, you know, but it was very difficult. And I hope you guys are okay with my version of Liara, but just know that I did my damn best, because holy shit, it was not easy. Because with Liara, like, her features, considering looks-wise how close the Asari look to humans, uh, you know, it was, it was tricky. It was pretty damn tricky. Now if you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about and you're just here for my lovely commentary, an Asari is one of the races from Mass Effect, so there are like shit tons of races. Uh, Liara here, the sim that I'm making, she is an Asari and 
they live for a very very long time I can't remember how long exactly I think it's something like a thousand years compared to humans or like 500 I'm not sure if you know your Mass Effect lore let me know down in the comments below and <laughs> remind me because I actually can't remember but yeah the Asari are the most like human like in appearance and I figured I actually already had the CC which is custom content for making an Asari character which is why that she actually has the uh, tentacle things on her head and I figured you know I have that why not have a go at making her because I've already got the stuff so yeah here we are making Liara now at first I didn't know what to make of Liara like I wasn't too sure about how I felt about her character at all but in the end I ended up really like she grew on me <laughs> Like, that's all I gotta say, you know, she grew on me in the end. And you know, she's very pretty. She is a very pretty alien gal. Now I will say one thing, like, with her face, it doesn't look like Liara now, but when you chuck on the eyebrows, because I only remembered it, like, right at the last minute, then it starts to look like Liara. So, if you're like, oh no, where are the brows? Don't worry, they're coming. They're coming. I was just, uh... Bit of a silly sausage and I forgot that Liara had eyebrows for a moment. But yeah, nah, Liara was the hardest to make. Like, just trying to get her face right. And then there's like the lip colour because uh, she has slightly darker lips than what her face colour is. So it was trying to replicate that. It was just a whole thing. <laughs> but I think I managed okay in the end. It took me a while to get there. But I did get there in the end. So with these characters, I kind of... I am in denial about them ending of Mass Effect 3. So this is like... Those characters, if it never happened, and they got to go on a beach vacation to Earth. And Earth was like back to normal. Everything was fine. <laughs> Just the ending that we never got but should have gotten, you know? So that's why you see Kaden with a shirt unbuttoned, Liara in a sundress, you know, they're just relaxing for once in their goddamn lives. <laughs> and here we are, adding her eyebrows. We got there in the end, didn't we? I got there, Liara, see? I even managed to find the exact eyebrows. How lucky was that? So yeah, I just fiddled around with her face shape for a while. And I think I managed to get it okay. And for Liara's traits and like personality in general, I gave her the soulmate aspiration. Because, you know, I figured why the heck not. And she's a genius because, you know, she is a doctor. A uh, bookworm and I didn't know what the heck to give her for a third trait. So in the end I just kind of gave her the loves outdoors because I was honestly just stuck on what the heck to give her. <laughs> like I just didn't know. And I ended up changing her skin tone because I figured this one looked more like Liara than the one that I had originally given her. And I think that was a good call because this looks a lot better on her. Now coming up, as you can see here, Liara has a human form. Now she doesn't have this in Mass Effect, she's just straight up blue all the time. But in The Sims, you have to have a human form to hide yourself from the other Sims. So this is me creating Liara's human form. Now, this is actually quite easy, because I'm low-key very gifted at baking female sims, so... You know, this was a walk in the park for me. And I'm not gonna lie, she is hella freaking cute. She is a cutie patootie. I mean, look at her. Like, wouldn't you want to be her friend and or date her, you know? She's really adorable. She is the most adorable little bean. Now I tried to keep her features as close to her alien form as possible, but you know, it's, it's kind of hard in The Sims because they just sort of randomize your human form and you don't really have a say in like your body shape and whatnot. Now if you are here and you're wondering where the heck is the other videos that I have, no worries my friend though, they are coming, they have been recorded. I have got a Skyrim video coming up, so if you've been holding out for some Skyrim, you know, hold, just be patient, that's coming. Um, I actually have a poll about that over on my Twitter, so please do go check that out. Link to it is down in my description below. And other than Skyrim, I have more Jurassic World Evolution coming up. And that's going to be fun because we're going to get a new carnivore in the park. That'll be rad. But for today, I just wanted to do something a bit more relaxed and, uh, you know, 
not too crazy because I'm, I'm a bit under the weather at the moment and I'm not feeling very up to uh, doing something that requires a lot of work just because I feel very shitty so you know I'm sorry in advance if you're hoping for another video but you know this is a bit easier on my body and my poor head because I do have a bit of a migraine right now so yeah I hope you guys do enjoy this video I did my best it was a fun one also the outfit that I gave for Liara's human form for everyday wear cute as fuck and finally but not least we're on to Shepard now here's the thing with Shepard I actually already made her in a separate household so I just sort of took her from that household this was like ages ago and I put her back into this one and remade her so she fit because this actually wasn't a the Jane Shepard I had a household where um you know once again Mass Effect Freeze ending never happened what are you talking about I don't know what you're talking about so it never happened and I decided you know what Shepard's probably had some kids by now possibly so this will be her granddaughter so this is actually Kira Shepard her granddaughter but for now she's going to be turned into her grandma good old Jane and I think considering her changes and stuff that I made she ends up looking a lot like you know default Shep I actually really really love her especially the hair I think it's the hair that does it because holy crap like she looks amazing I even have some like N7 stuff so she has the N7 hoodie and there's an N7 leather jacket I am so glad I managed to find those because they look awesome and you probably noticed at the start of the video even Kaden has an N7 hoodie because you know they're part of the N7 crew they've got to have the swag that comes with it and see there it is there's the N7 jacket and oh my god I want one so bad but they're so expensive <laughs> But yeah, overall, you know, I want to be up front. I already made Jane in the past, so, you know, I wasn't going to be like, oh, look at this character I made from scratch, because that's not true. I've made Shepard before, and I'm pretty good at making Shepard. So, you know, I kind of wanted to low-key show off and also be up front about uh, my Sims 4 character creator abilities. <laughs> and I gave her this big old puffy jacket because fuck it, why not? You know, I, I don't think Jane cares about style too much when she's cold. So, you know, she's probably caring more about keeping her ass warm. So, overall, we've got Jane all done and dusted. And then we've got Caden here. He is complete. And then Liara. Man, Liara was such a tough cookie to make. Because I just, I wanted to get her right, you know. And, you know, I did my best. And that's all you can do. And now, of course, finally, Liara's human form, which is super freaking cute. Anyway, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do give it a big old thumbs up, as I would appreciate that a bunch. And let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more like this, with the second Mass Effect videos where I turn uh, the aliens into more human forms. So Garrus, Tally, Fane. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I wanted to slowly reintroduce The Sims to my channel because I do plan on making some more Sims content uh, next month, fingers crossed, if I get a new CPU. That is the aim of the game. That and if there are other video game characters that you guys want to see me create in The Sims, let me know down in the comments below. If you are new here and you enjoyed this video and you think maybe my channel is your cup of tea, do consider subscribing. Of course, a big thank you to my current patrons. They are Cosmo Ronick, Nicholas Montoya, Caroline Richardson, and Cooladora. You guys are awesome, and if I had to have a crew on my own Normandy ship, you guys would be my crew because you are rad as heck. You would be my favorite scientist Solarians. <laughs> And if you want to see your name shouted out at the end of the video, as well as get some other cool freaking rewards, do consider checking out their Patreon link is in the description below. And as always, it's I Swear signing off, and I'll see you introverts later next time on the channel. Have a lovely day slash now wherever you are in the world. Bye!